Monday, and I am back in the office. I was in Philadelphia this morning representing a client at a pre-trial conference, and then I went over to Cape May County, New Jersey, representing a client there. With that said, did come out an article today regarding the recent veto by Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf regarding the permit veto, the permit to carry veto. Uh, the bill had passed the Pennsylvania Senate with regards to allowing people to carry firearms and handguns in Pennsylvania, carry them concealed without a permit. Now, had the governor signed that bill and had it become law, it would have been a dramatic change to the law in the Commonwealth regarding the ability to carry without a permit. I've done previous articles on various sections of the Pennsylvania Uniform Firearms Act specifically sections 6105, 6106, 6110.2, and 6108. All those laws in Pennsylvania are all separate laws. If a person is charged and convicted, as I've indicated in the article, and I will link in the most recent blog article on the Pennsylvania permit to carry veto, um, all those laws are are separate, and I briefly explain them all in that most recent article, but it's important to understand that in most situations, if you're charged and convicted of a gun crime in Pennsylvania, it is a felony offense. Now, specifically, the permit to carry law, 6106, if a person is charged with that, uh, the allegation is, is that they were carrying that, that firearm outside of their home or place of business and therefore they needed the permit to do so. In most situations, a lot of those offenses occur with regards to traffic stops within the Commonwealth. And I, I always advise people not to give police consent to search their vehicle. If they want to search the car, make them get a search warrant. Remember warrantless searches, once again, are illegal in Pennsylvania following the Alexander case. Our law firm has had a lot of success with the Alexander motions and getting charges dismissed because police decided to search the car without the warrant. And in many cases, the uh, district attorney assigned to the case hasn't even disputed it and simply withdrawn the charges or our client has pled guilty to something very, very minor, something as minor as a traffic offense when previously they were charged with an illegal gun offense. Now, remember the law in New Jersey is a lot different that in New Jersey, not only is a permit required? A, a permit is required, but also keep in mind that it's virtually impossible to get, to get a permit to carry in the Garden State. In addition, New Jersey has a mandatory minimum sentence with regards to, to the illegal use or possession of a firearm. So the two states are very, very different under the Graves Act in New Jersey. But if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, website gambolemall.com, a tremendous resource for your family. All my books, my blogs, my videos are, are available there in one convenient format. We are in the process of uploading all of my YouTube videos to our Facebook to make them easy to access on a variety of different platforms. Every Friday, we do come out with our weekly e-update. In the update this week, you will see that article, which I'm linking into this video, but check it out now. It's a great article on the permit to carry update in, New in Pennsylvania. I don't foresee New Jersey having any type of possible legislation with regards to gun laws in the Garden State. Uh, provided that the current governor, um, I don't believe he's going to make any uh, rash changes to the laws in New Jersey. But Pennsylvania, it's pretty clear that the governor is not going to sign anything with regards to changing the permit to carry law there in the Commonwealth. But if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey. It is the holiday season. Please don't drink and drive. If you are stopped for suspicion of DUI in Pennsylvania or DWI in New Jersey, do not refuse the chemical test, but be cooperative with the officer, but do not give consent to search your vehicle, your car, or your person. So once again, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 
in New Jersey. Have a great Monday, and I will talk to you all very soon.